You may have felt an uneasy feeling when you hear someone talk about spirituality. Maybe it is the fear of what you don't know or your memories of religious experiences in the past that haunts you. We will explore why people are afraid of spirituality and we'll see how to overcome this barrier together. Spirituality encompasses many different beliefs, practices, and experiences. It is not limited to any one religion. Spirituality, at its heart, is about connecting with something bigger than yourself, be it a greater power, nature, the universe, or collective consciousness. Spirituality, unlike organized religions, is subjective and deeply personal, and allows individuals to define and explore their relationship with God or the transcendent. Spirituality can be a part of religious traditions and rituals, like prayer, meditation, or religious services. Others may experience moments of wonder and awe inspired by art or nature. It can encompass moral and ethical principles that guide individuals on their journey to find meaning and purpose in life. Spirituality is a way to navigate the complexity of human life and understand the mysteries of our existence. Spirituality, despite its importance in culture and history, is frequently misunderstood. Spirituality and organized religion are often confused. Spirituality can intersect with religious practices and beliefs, but it's not the same as adhering to one particular dogma or faith. Spirituality, by its very nature, is flexible and inclusive. It accommodates a variety of viewpoints and experiences. A common misconception is that spirituality requires strict rules and rituals. Spirituality, in reality, is an inner journey which invites people to discover their deepest thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. Spirituality isn't bound to rigid hierarchies or structures, but thrives instead on openness, curiosity, and authenticity. We can encourage individuals to embrace and explore their spiritual identity by dispelling common misconceptions. Fear of the unknown is one of the main reasons people are afraid of spirituality. The spiritual world often involves concepts and feelings that go beyond our everyday comprehension. It can cause anxiety and uncertainty in those who prefer to hold on to their familiar ideas and beliefs. For those seeking concrete evidence and answers, the ambiguity of spiritual phenomena like life after death or existence of other realms can cause anxiety. The fear of the unfamiliar is also often amplified by cultural and societal conditioning, which discourages the exploration of unorthodox ideas and beliefs. Spirituality in many cultures is shrouded with mystery and mysticism. This can lead to some people viewing it as skepticism. People can be afraid of being judged or ostracized or labeled weird, unorthodox, or labeled as such. This prevents them from embracing and pursuing their spiritual interests. Spirituality can also be a source of fear because it challenges deeply held beliefs and worldviews. Religious or secular belief systems provide many people with a sense of identity, security, and purpose. They also give them a way to navigate life and understand reality. It can be difficult to abandon or question these religious beliefs and adopt a spiritual one because it means confronting your own prejudices and biases. Spirituality can also be uncomfortable to those who like clear answers and certainty. Fear of ambiguity may manifest in a resistance to explore spiritual concepts which challenge or contradict current beliefs. This can lead to individuals clinging to old paradigms and resisting change. By embracing uncertainty, curiosity, and an open mind, people can conquer their fears of spirituality. Fear of losing control is another significant reason people are afraid of spirituality. People feel secure and stable when they have a good grasp of their decisions and lives. Spirituality, however, often involves the notion of giving up control to universal forces or higher powers. The idea of giving up control is frightening to those who have been accustomed to using their intellect and efforts to overcome life's obstacles. The fear of losing one's control can also be a result of a refusal to face the more profound aspects of yourself that spirituality encourages. Introspection, reflection, and the willingness to face one's insecurities and fears are all part of exploring spirituality. For those who built walls to shield themselves from pain or discomfort, this process of exploration within can be daunting. They may not want to explore spiritual beliefs or practices that might challenge their sense of identity and ego. Spirituality can also be associated with bad experiences and perceptions. 
spirituality can evoke past traumas or memories of religious indoctrination. It may also elicit encounters with manipulative gurus and charlatans. This negative association can cause individuals to have a deep-seated dislike for anything spiritual. They may even avoid seeking spiritual guidance or exploring their own spiritual potential. The sensationalized depictions of spirituality that are found in the popular culture and media can also perpetuate stereotypes, which further fuel fear and skepticism. The media sensationalizes, distorts, and distorted spiritual practices. From news reports about religious extremism and cults to horror films featuring demonic possession, they often demonize and distort spiritual practices. People may be afraid to engage with spirituality for fear that they will end up on a dangerous and dark path. A perceived conflict between rationality and spirituality can also be a reason for people to fear spirituality. The abstract, metaphysical aspect of spirituality is often viewed by people as being incompatible with reason and logic. Spiritual beliefs and experiences are often difficult to reconcile with the world we know, which can lead to confusion. In addition, the modern emphasis on critical thought and skepticism may lead to the marginalization or dismissal of spirituality. Spirituality can be perceived as a threat by individuals who are proud of their analytical and rational thinking. Fear of being labeled as stupid or unreasonable by others or the society can discourage people from exploring their spiritual practices or beliefs. The fear of dissonance or holding contradictory beliefs and attitudes at the same time can also discourage people from exploring spirituality. For those who like clear answers and certainty, facing existential questions regarding the nature of consciousness, reality, and existence can cause cognitive discomfort. People may therefore avoid spirituality to avoid psychological discomfort caused by cognitive dissonance. The fear of being stigmatized by others and the peer pressure that comes with it can also play an important role in shaping people's attitudes towards spirituality. If spirituality is stigmatized in cultures, people may be afraid of social rejection, ridicule, or ostracism if they express their interest or practice it. Fear of negative social consequences can cause people to hide their spiritual interests or to conform to the prevailing societal standards, even when they are genuinely curious or have a spiritual longing. Moreover, the fear of being perceived by others as deviant or unconventional can discourage people from exploring their spirituality. When material achievement, productivity, and external achievements are valued highly, it may seem frivolous to invest time and effort in spiritual pursuits. Individuals may choose external validation and conformity over exploration of the self and spiritual development, which perpetuates the fear that they will deviate from social norms. Through removing these cultural and social barriers and creating a welcoming and inclusive environment to explore spirituality, people can transform their lives and achieve personal fulfillment and growth. Fear of the unknown is another reason people fear spirituality. Spirituality explores concepts like the afterlife and cosmic consciousness. The ambiguity of spiritual phenomena may cause anxiety and discomfort for those who are used to clear explanations. Fear of going into unknown territory or facing existential questions that have no clear answer can discourage people from exploring their spirituality. Spirituality is also often associated with taboos in society and cultural narratives. Spiritual practices and belief systems have always been linked to mystery, mysticism, and even occultism, which perpetuates fears about the unknown and supernatural. Media and literary depictions of the spiritual focus on its dangerous and mysterious aspects. This further arouses apprehension among people. Moreover, Experiences such as uncertainty and loss can increase the individual's fear of the unknowable. This may drive them away from their spirituality. In times of turmoil or crisis, people may find comfort and meaning through spiritual practices or beliefs. Fear of facing existential questions regarding mortality, meaning, and existence can cause individuals to turn away from spirituality. Individuals may choose to avoid the uncertainty of existence by clinging to their familiar beliefs and routines, rather than confront the existential questions. Dogma and religious indoctrination are also factors that contribute to fear of spirituality. Religious frameworks are often used to raise individuals who adhere to specific doctrines, beliefs, and practices. They are often taught from a very young age to follow these doctrines without question, 
under threat of eternal punishment for those who disobey or do not believe. The fear of being punished for straying away from religious standards and the social or spiritual consequences that may follow can prevent people from exploring other spiritual paths or even questioning their beliefs. Religious institutions can also use fear to control their adherents. Religious authorities are able to influence their followers and enforce compliance by instilling fear. Religious authorities can use fear to influence and ensure compliance with their teachings. Religious dogma also promotes a binary view of the world, dividing it into good and evil, salvation from damnation, or believers from non-believers. The dichotomous view can create a sense of fear in people who want to explore spirituality beyond their faith. They may see alternative practices or beliefs as heretical or sinful. People may therefore avoid exploring spirituality or stay within their religion's boundaries for fear of the perceived consequences if they stray from the orthodoxy. Fear of the unknown, a basic aspect of psychology in humans, has a significant impact on attitudes towards spirituality. Spirituality involves exploring worlds that are beyond what is tangible or empirical and delving deep into mysteries which defy the conventional understanding. Many people are frightened by the thought of meeting the unknown, be it in the form spiritual forces or dimensions or entities. The fear is a result of the human tendency to find security and predictability within familiar concepts and surroundings. In addition, the unknowable aspects of spirituality are often portrayed as evil, malicious, or dangerous in cultural and social narratives. Supernatural entities, occult practice, and mystical experience are often portrayed in literature, folklore, and the media as signs of chaos or danger. The stories that are told shape people's perceptions about spirituality. They reinforce the idea that exploring the uncharted territory of the spiritual is fraught with danger. Individuals may be hesitant to explore their spiritual interests or engage in practices which challenge their perception of reality. The fear of spiritual insecurity is also a reflection of broader, existential anxiety about meaninglessness and mortality. Spiritual questions like the afterlife or whether there are higher powers can cause existential anxiety in those who have not been prepared to face such uncertainty. Many people avoid spirituality entirely, preferring a pragmatic, rationalistic lifestyle that gives them a sense of certainty and control. Religious trauma is the emotional distress or negative experience that an individual may have as a consequence of being involved in a religious institution or adhering to orthodox religious doctrines. The manifestations of this phenomenon include emotional abuse, manipulation, and guilt. It can also manifest as fear or trauma caused by strict religious practices. Religious trauma can lead to feelings of guilt, doubt, or disillusionment. A common cause of religious trauma involves the imposition-rigid, dogmatic belief systems which leave no room for interpretation by individuals or questions. Cognitive dissonance can be created when personal beliefs are in conflict with religious teachings, leading to guilt, anxiety, or alienation. Religious communities who emphasize eternal punishment, judgment, and judgment can instill deep-seated psychological scars, as well as a sense of cognitive dissonance, in those whose personal beliefs conflict with the teachings of their religion. Spiritual abuse can also have a long-lasting effect on the mental well-being of an individual. This includes coercion or manipulation by religious authorities, religions that exert undue control over members, or who use terror tactics to influence behavior, can perpetuate emotional trauma. Individuals may become afraid of religion or spirituality and associate such experiences with betrayal or pain. Many people are on a quest to find spiritual understanding and fulfillment. They ask fundamental questions about life and existence. In an effort to discover meaning in the world, this journey involves exploring different religious teachings and philosophical ideas, as well as personal experiences. The pursuit of spirituality may also bring about feelings of doubt and uncertainty as people confront the mysteries and limitations of their understanding. The search for meaning can be fraught with conflicts between beliefs, social norms, and cultural expectations. This may cause inner turmoil or spiritual discontent. Some people may be torn by the conflicting teachings and insights from their religious tradition, modern science, or their intuitive sense of the truth. The internal conflict can cause a deep sense of disconnect from the self, others, and God, leading to feelings of loneliness, isolation, and spiritual adrift. The search for meaning, 
despite these obstacles, is an innate human desire that stems from our innate need for connection, purpose, and transcendence. Individuals can embark on an awakening journey through introspection and self-discovery. Individuals can find meaning and comfort in the infinite mystery and richness of the human experience by embracing the uncertainty of life accepting diversity and cultivating an open mind and compassion. As people venture out into the unknown, they often experience fear and resistance. Fear can take many forms. It may be fear of judgment, fear, or fear of change. Resistance may also emerge when the ego tries to resist spiritual growth and maintain control. To achieve spiritual growth and realization, it is important to overcome fear and resistance. This requires vulnerability and courage as well as a willingness for surrender. Individuals can develop resilience and inner strength by embracing and accepting fear as part of human life. In addition, to overcome fear and resistance, it is often necessary to confront deeply ingrained thought patterns, behaviors, and beliefs that are no longer serving one's best interests. In order to achieve inner liberation and purification, honesty, reflection, and the willingness of letting go of illusions and attachments are required. Meditation, self-inquiry, and mindfulness are all practices that can help individuals cultivate greater insight and awareness. This allows them to overcome fear and resistance and feel profound feelings of joy and freedom. On the spiritual journey, doubt and skepticism is common as people grapple with the questions of the nature of the world, existence of higher power, and validity of spiritual doctrines. Doubts can be a result of a number of factors, such as past experiences, social conditioning, and intellectual inquiry. Skepticism is a powerful protective tool that can help individuals distinguish truth from lies and prevent deception. To navigate doubt and skepticism, you need to be open-minded, curious, and not dismiss or accept something out of hand. To arrive at an informed conclusion, it is necessary to question assumptions, seek evidence, and engage in critical thinking. It's also important to acknowledge that doubt is an inherent part of human nature and can lead to growth and discovery. Cultivating faith in your own inner guidance and intuition can also provide an anchor for you when faced with doubts and uncertainties. Through a deepening connection with the self and by tuning in to the wisdom of the soul, people can gain clarity and truth that is beyond the limits of their rational minds. Prayer, Meditation and contemplation are also powerful tools to quiet doubts and skepticism and help individuals connect with their inner essence. Fear of the unknown can take many forms. It may manifest as fear of death or change. This fear is often triggered by spiritual experiences or concepts that are contrary to the individual's beliefs. This fear can cause feelings of insecurity and anxiety. It may also lead to a desire for comfort and security. The unknown, however, is a vital part of the spiritual journey. This involves venturing beyond known boundaries and into unknown territory where enlightenment and transformation await. Individuals can gain new insights and wisdom by embracing their uncertainty and facing their fears. The fear of the unknowable can also serve as an inspiration for spiritual growth, causing people to explore different perspectives and begin a self-discovery journey. The book invites people to let go of certainty embrace life's inherent mystery, and trust in the divine plan of the universe. By embracing the unknowable with curiosity and courage, people can overcome fear and limitations and find profound freedom and empowerment in their spiritual journey. Many people experience spiritual doubt on their journey. It is natural. The causes of doubt can be many, such as personal challenges, conflicts and beliefs, and difficult life situations. In times of doubt, People may begin to question their beliefs, their spiritual understanding, or even whether a higher force exists. The uncertainty that can result from this situation may lead to confusion, frustration, and a disconnection with one's own spiritual practices. Spiritual doubts can be a great opportunity to grow and develop one's journey. This encourages people to examine their faith more thoroughly, face their doubts, and find answers to their queries. Individuals can strengthen their faith by engaging in open and honest dialogue and self-reflection. Spiritual doubts can also serve as catalysts for spiritual transformation. The experience of doubt challenges people to broaden their perspective, expand their consciousness, and question assumptions. By grappling with their doubts, people can develop greater resilience, 
authenticity and depth to their spiritual practices, leading them ultimately to a deeper and more meaningful connection with God. Spiritual doubt does not indicate weakness or failure, but is an integral part of human existence. Through the exploration of our doubt, we can uncover deeper truths and forge closer connections to our spirituality. We also embark on a path of growth and self-discovery. We can turn doubt into a powerful tool for spiritual transformation by embracing it with openness and courage. Every challenge that we encounter on our journey to spirituality is an opportunity for us to expand our awareness, cultivate more authenticity, and develop greater resilience. As you explore your spiritual journey, be sure to embrace it with humility and curiosity. May you also find wisdom and spiritual fulfillment on your journey.